Hey guys, so it's Friday the 15th of February 2019 and I want to document the last week. Um, I guess we soft launched True Jew Branding and Marketing and what I did this week is that I wanted to really really start from the bottom. So I went up and down central and I went through um, the different retail establishments who are in the food business. And here's a list of them. I'm gonna go through them quickly. Meisner's, Sunflower Cafe, Upper Crust, O Nuts, The Suitery, Juice by Julie, David's Pizza, Mike's Burger, and 5050. So these people I scouted out. They kind of had something that I liked about them because there are a lot more stores on Central. I chose these and I went into them and I was successful in talking to the right person in most cases. And I basically let them know that I, you know, my skill set and I uh, let them know that I'm willing to start from wherever they need to get my way in because I realized that despite the fact that I do think that I have certain talents and skills. No one's really looking to partner up with someone who's starting from scratch. So anybody out there who's interested in doing what I'm doing, you can do it just like I'm doing it. And what I've realized is that my one biggest advantage and the one real advantage I have over anybody else and anybody can find this advantage is that when I walk into a room, I don't think anybody's better than me there. Now, it wasn't that way a year ago. However, I started going into rooms and just learning. I was not talking. I was just learning and I was listening to everybody else and all the people that were smarter than me in the room and better than this and better than that. But what I realized is that if I take notes, a lot of mental notes and some handwritten notes as well, then I can take the best of everybody and if you're committed to hard work and effort and you combined it with taking a little bit from everybody, you will do well. And right now, society might say, hey, whereas his millions, he doesn't have the money to be saying he's doing well. But I can assure you that I'm doing as well as I ever will do. I don't think money is a barometer to judge somebody. However, um, society likes to use that barometer and use that stick on people. But the true way to judge somebody is remove all that money from them and then look at them. Do you want to be their friend? Are they somebody you're proud to say you know? Things change. So if money's able to filter things so much so that you'll look away, that's a problem. And that's a problem I'm looking to stay away from. In any case, have a Shabbat Shalom. Peace out, people.